Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tom Mizzou. You watch my channel, Mr. 4T, and I'm here doing a review of Love and Hip Hop Miami, season three, episode one. I don't know if I did last season. I did the, I did season one of Love and Hip Hop Miami. I did I did that. And that was good. So let's hear season three now, y'all. Um the reason why I'm excited to do Miami, cause I mean it's, it's getting their groove. It's the third season, so you know they, they got to pick up with their pace. But Jocelyn is coming for this season. You know how Jocelyn is. I like Jocelyn. I like her antics and her funniness and how she do reality. But, you know, she was let go for a while. Uh, for, I think, a year or two or something like that. But I guess it was some bad blood between her and production and stuff and Mona. And I guess they worked something out. So now Jocelyn is doing Miami, and I think she also going to be doing Atlanta as well. So... We'll go see how she do it both. And but she only came in the last second. The same thing as the trainer. She said, I you know I got a lot of haters, but you know, I'm back and everything made it ready to do what I had to do. And that's how it was. And then this turned around. But we will see more of Jocelyn. You know, she gonna have some problems with some of the girls, the cast. I think she have a problem with people, Donna and um some other people in the cast. So it was like, Oh, I like Jocelyn. <laughs> She's doing that and she was doing this. <laughs> to Joy, I said, what, what is Jocelyn doing, girl? But, um, there's Jocelyn. You know, she, was, she gonna bring the drama. She gonna bring reality to reality TV show. She gonna do her little antics. All right, but that was that. So, Jocelyn only came in the last three seconds. It wasn't much. We will see more of her. But they show previews of the season. And we, we actually see Jocelyn in a lot of other stuff. Because I think it was gonna make her a little splash here and there. But it seemed like she gonna be available and be there and create some havoc. And that video thing, she did a premium dollar event. I said, oh, Jocelyn, you do, <laughs> you do too much. I like it. So Trick did the opening of the show. She did, he did the opening. Opening was it was. But the people who was back after three seasons, we'll see, we see Trick. We see Trina. We have Joy. We have Mara Nalegla. Uh, Shay Johnson. We have JoJo. Um, Bobby Lights. And... I think that's basically, that's it. We saw, we saw Chaotic. And basically, I think Miami Tip might come next um, next, next episode on everything. So that's that. And then we got some new people. Nikki Natural. I'll explain who she is. Prima Donna. She was shown in this episode as well. Um, we have this girl named Hood Brat. It looks like I don't like her Brat. Like, she coming in with a nice chocolate, nice puff, apple puff, chocolate skin, dark natural beauty. Hood Brat and um, Sukuhana. I heard her name before. I don't know who, where she from. Because I heard her name before. And I, I think on social media or something like that. But I don't know exactly who she is. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her. And they also got, got a guy named Briscoe. He was part of the um, opening credits. So um, that was that. And the opening credits seemed like the opening scene, the movie, was the intro. It's basically the same. It's like, it's no difference. It's like they added, they took some people out. Like, Prince was not there anymore. Prince was part of it. Um, who else? JoJo was not, she was in the last up of the season, but she's not in this one. They put Prima Donna in there. They had Hood Brat in there. They had Sukihana. And they had Briscoe. So those are new cast be, that was part of the opening. I like, so, it started off so heavy. It started off heavy already. Trina's mom funeral and i said oh those stuff the sadness it gonna have a tears in the eyes and everything but i hold it in i was hard y'all <laughs> but i was like oh wow why they started so heavy like that but it was her mom passed away from cancer after she'd been taking care of her for five years or something like that and she she didn't really tell nobody because she'd been taking care of her mom for the last five years and who's battling cancer and cancer one so you know trina is it's emotional right right now she can deal with a lot of things. She don't know how she could deal with her death from her mom. And I don't even know how to do my death from her mom if she passed away or something like that because me and my mom was close. And she said her mom was her rock and everything. And then now she's done. Now she didn't even know she could ever just deal with it until the day she died. So she was like, I want nobody to keep Tell, ask me how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. I'm not going to feel right. I'm not gonna, never going to feel the right the same. I'm never going to feel good until the day I die. So, But Joy, her cousin, has been contacting her. Texting her, calling her, see how she's doing, what's going on with her. And she appreciate that. She really loved that Joy has been contacting her stuff. Now, during the midst of her mourning of her mom, Julian, you remember Julian? Julian was a mom in Allegra, 
is a Marla manager. He also manages Trina. And doing Trina, her last album, album she was supposed to come out with, and I heard it was, a, it was a lot of controversy with that little album, the last album that Trina had to explain herself about she had no money on herself and she did things for favors, people did things for favor for her, stuff like that. It was completed. But Julie had $300,000 money. I could have sworn she said million, but it was $300,000 events that he could open his business. And part of his business was Trina. And that he was working with Trina. But after a while, when he was going through his own freaking, she was mourning her death of the mom and going through her mom passing and her decline in health, he just skedaddled with the money. And then all these people that she was working with sent a cease and desist order um, letters saying, saying that she. They get no pay, and since they didn't get no pay, the album got taken off. So I was like, "Oh, that's crazy!" So now she's pissed off at Julian because he ran off all her money, and now she got no money. Well, she probably still had money, but she don't have no thing for her album. She did all this work for the album, and it's not to show because Julian. So now that was that. I said, "Oh, all right, Julian, you, if Julian." If I was you, I would stay away from Trina because she got emotional right now because her mom passed away. So if she see you, she will boop, 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 snap at you. I like. So we see Amara Nalegla, right? I don't know why I can't see that. La, la, la Negla, correctly. She bought her dream home. Remember, she wanted to get a house for her mom. Like, I love, I love the bond that she had with her mom, but I was like, wow, why are you kicking her mom her own separate house somewhere? <laughs> down the street for you and you can have this own little beautiful house but I guess it's a her, her mom she, her mom gonna be over there I say her mom could have downstairs you can have upstairs but that's what it is she, she bought a dream house for her mom and everything so that's good she's in the kitchen and she have a new love in her life who is Shay Johnson's brother MJ and I said oh okay MJ came down I said ooh that's, that's Shay's brother I don't know what the hell they did with Shay, but MJ look mighty fine. <laughs> oh, no, let me stop, let me stop. But um, MJ good nice, and he came down with a nice little chisel body with a towel. You know, the mom, she said, uh, uh-uh, MJ, what you doing? What you doing? You look half naked. You coming out now? You can put some clothes on. You can't be coming out here like that. You know, I'm down here. He said, hey, hey, mama, all oh, this like that, all that stuff. He said, man, why are you coming down here? With the towel, what about the towel dropped on? He said, Oh, you look like that. You want to help me? Hey, he's making a joke. And then she said, I need to put some clothes on. You got to put some clothes on. He said, I don't like my eyes on. So he, I know he got respectful. It's like that. But the mom was going, And hey, she was like, I need to put some clothes on, boy. And I said, I feel the same way. But at the same time, I was like, Damn, mom, you got your nice little man. He want to walk out in his freaking towel. He can't because your mom is there. Disrespect your mom. I was like, Oh my gosh. But I said, I understand that was kind of. Warm for him to come out with a towel with the mom standing there and he was there for a while. Like I said, it was no big deal. I was like, oh, okay, sure. And no big to us either because it was a fine body, but it's a respect. Yes, it's respect. But I was also saying, why the hell you got to get your mom in the house? Why you get your mom in the house down the street somewhere? <laughs> in two houses down. I like, so, so she having a um single release party. What it called? What's the name of the song? There is no way. There is no way. And she said she thought last year her music was I like it. I mean, she had insecure and something like that. But it seemed like the management team that was working with her wasn't really promoting her that well. And I said she has a lot of potential. She feels very good in her country. Um, I did Dominican Republic. And then she came here. And now she's trying to cross over. And it's not doing well. So And then her manager is Julian. So she tried to do a single release party to promote her album, her music out there, and there's no way. It seemed like it was an okay song, and she wanted her song to be playing on the radio. So I said, you better, you better do it, girl. We need some. You better do it. And she's beautiful. So she goes over there and everything, and they took her outside. Um, MJ and Mom took her upstairs and said, I got, he said, I'm going to have your back no matter what. And... He said, I still gotta have my back, you know, the single release party here and all that stuff. She said, cool, cool. Then here go the mom walking in and he said, MJ, I need to take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. He said, oh, my, it's all else like that. You want to take out the trial? I said, I said, he said, Ma, you know, you're talking to me. He said, oh, shit, yeah, he could come to talk to you when he go take out the garbage. I said, Ma, that's not your son, like. <laughs> 
I said, hey, mom said, if a man in the house, you go take out the garbage. I said, I said, you just wash in their room and they tell them to take out the garbage. I said, go ahead, mama. And he said, sorry, mama. She said, ain't no apology. No sorry, just take out the trash. <laughs> that was like, and that's when you find out that Shay and MJ are brothers and sisters. And Amara and Shay are sisters. Well, they're not really married, but you could say they're sisters because they connection with the brother. And they be real close and everything, all that stuff. And that continue with the Marvel thing. JoJo, you know that whole little thing about JoJo and Marvel. They was cool friends. And all of a sudden, JoJo accusing, um, accusing Marvel of putting voodoo on her. And it said her mom put Santa Via on her. And all that juju stuff. And her business was failing. And she was sort of sick. And then they would put roots on her. And that's how it was. It was pissed off. And everything. So, Amara was like, she feels, she's, she still has her feelings for JoJo. She still want to make things work. We're not going to like get back best, besties or friends. But, they feel like, she feel like, they could be cordial and they could be cool and they could try to work on rebuilding. And apologize and rehash and let the past be the past. She said that at Trick's opening, and I, I told that. But now, at the end of her single release party, she turned on a different tune. I like, let's stay on my other thing. So, JoJo, she went through her little thing. Oh, craziness. That's craziness. JoJo got her new line right now called The War with Hillfigure. I did she partnership with Tommy Hillfigure. I said, oh, Tommy Hillfigure. I ain't even hear that name for a long, long time. But, he was one of the famous clothes back in the days and the 90s when I was growing up and all that stuff. And she, uh, thing. so she's feeling very happy. Bobby came. And Bobby, I'm going to talk about Bobby in a minute. Because Bobby is like the bone carrier this season or something. He be very messy. I don't know. He be telling business. He was telling, spilling the tea, saying no on this. He was all, he was all one to this episode. Like he like, every little seat he had a drink and he was just spilling everything out. I said, Bobby, calm your ass down. Like, what the hell are you hyped for? I like, so, so JoJo said she feels happy way. Uh, Marla invited JoJo to her single release because she said, we build it. And she was so happy because she wants to build it. And she realized the truth and everything. And she realized she messed up by um, speaking to, um, talk about JoJo, uh, talk about Marla like that. Talk about Marla's mother. She realized she was wrong. A lot of things since uh, they both the same things, mean things back to each other. She, she, she just wants to at least rebuild it. At least get to the point where she can apologize and they be cool with each other. So she going to come. Now, Bobby told JoJo that... Oh, wait. Wait, hold up. Oh, yeah. Bobby told JoJo about Shay and Amara being really cool and everything and cool and also he told her that Shay would feel type of way if you come and you and Marvel start becoming good friends again because it feel like I guess you just say Shay feel like um I'm gonna be taking her spot again as a best friend and it only had to be one best friend in her life I talk about Shay in a minute because she was doing way too much this episode. But I understand where she coming from a little bit. But I said, girl, girl, you made it act like it was all about you. But it wasn't. But so JoJo's not even bothered by Shay. So she should go and talk, um, support Amara and see if she can mend friendship with Amara. I like it. So he go, um, no, that's. We'll go back to Marvel's thing. I'm about to shade and all that stuff. Trick Daddy. I like. So, we met Trick News Girl called Nikki Natural. Yo, sorry, y'all. When I first saw the thing, I read it all. I thought it said Trick New Natural Girlfriend. I said, ooh, y'all shady. But I read it all, but it's called. It was Trick's girlfriend named Nikki Natural. I said, Nikki Natural, okay. We will find out Nicky Natural is a younger thing. I said, okay, I guess, yes. He make her feel young again. I said, yes, you got to get you a younger thing, right? To make you feel young again. Because you can't get nobody around your age, right? <laughs> All right, so we find out the three seasons strong in 
He's still not divorced, Joy. You know, since season one, Joy tried to get this divorce from his trick daddy, and he don't want to give her the divorce. He kept holding on to it, holding on to it, holding on to it, and not getting divorced. And he said in this episode, he said that he don't really love Joy, but he don't like the fact not being married to Joy. I said, what? Like, so you hold it on to the marriage because you don't want to get divorced. You just want to stay married and do you. She do her thing. Y'all have not been together for a while. Get the divorce and y'all be free. But it seemed like Trick is holding on to it. Because he said every time um, we was to sit down and about to be the final last day, her figure lawyer sent a new bill and she not paying it. And he said if we're going to get the divorce, she just tell the lawyers to sit down behind down. But it seemed like no matter what she's telling her lawyers, what she said or not, you try not to get divorced because you don't want the idea of not being married to her. So I said, what, what are you holding on to? You got the money, so let it go and move on. Like, I don't understand. I said, Trey, come on, man. So he got this girl named Nikki Natural, and he did a smash. And why? Because she been celibate for, for a long time. For two years, I guess, and they was in a relationship for two years or something like that. I think she said two years. She been celibate for two years. And... He didn't get anything. So he's trying to be patient. Be patient. And I would say, well, guys want something. They will wait a while till they get it. And then after they get it, they will treat you how they want to treat you. But some, some moves like, can't wait. They say, oh, I can't wait. No, someone will actually will wait until they get it. And they'll try to slip in and slip in and slip in and work on you, work on you, work on you until they get it. So he didn't smash yet. So it seemed like it's something right there. But um, Nikki... It told about how uh, had the divorce get finalized yet? Cause you know she said about the way that he's still married and she's technically dealing with a married man, basically. And I was like, oh, if I was you, I'm Nikki Natural. And you seem like a little young, little nice girl, girl. I wouldn't even deal with Trick until he get that divorce. It is what it is. And so, but he is excited for his opening. I said yes, Trick. They said Trick is good. Food, he make good food, so he opened a sun um uh, soul food restaurant called Sundays, and soul food, the catfish, the, all the type of menu you will have in a soul food, like the grill, the ribs, the big cheese, the fried catfish, and all that stuff in the restaurant. He also h- hired Alvin, Trina ex employee that she fired, and he did a job, so he felt bad for Alvin. So gave him a job. He working at the restaurant. I thought you would be at the top, huh? All right. <laughs> he working for <laughs> working at a soul food restaurant. I said soul food, soul food business is good business. If you especially got people who know how to make good soul food, it's a good business. You will make money. You make money. So you're going to be working, making that food and put, putting plates together. All right. So you're having a community event. Everybody showed up mostly. We saw Chaotic there. We saw Joy there. We met the girl Prima Donna. Prima Donna came. Nikki Natural came, and they would say, and he goes to see, see I said about Bobby. Bobby was on one, so um, Amara, Shay, and MJ came together. And after when I sat down, Bobby came, and he hugged um, thing. Him and Amara made up. They they squashed their little beef they had in our school. And they sit down, they talking on stuff. And they definitely talk about started talk about JoJo. And you know, Shay had a problem say, uh uh-uh, uh, okay. Because me and JoJo they never had any beef and all that stuff. And the uh, thing that um caught her um messed us up that she started to cut me off because she started sleeping with my ex. And you mess up the girl code and you don't deal with some of your best friends or your bestie ex. It's like that. I said, Yeah, it's a way you yeah, JoJo's wrong. You should not have cut Shay off and trying to act like it's shit on Shay because what? Cause she used to date with pleasure and then you thought you got pleasure and now you trying to play Shay because you got pleasure and trying to fight. I understand that. So yeah, Shay has the right. So she upset about that. But you can't be upset if Ma want to make a friendship with her or mend some friendship with her because they had history and you feel say you would feel type of way if she chose to be friends with Jojo. I said Shay, come on now. This is not elementary school, but we know Shay development is still on that um, they will love reality TV show type business. But, um, that was that. So, Bobby and somebody else going crazy. So, we met Luke Natural came, put me down came, Joy came over here. Joy and, I guess, Shay is cool now. They dropped that penniness. And they was actually, um, 
Nikki questions. She said, oh, so, oh, Nikki, you enjoy this and like that. Do you know you still married? Oh, you still bought him without him being married? She said, yeah, I still bought him married. And she said, well, oh, how's the relationship with Trick? She said, we good, but we haven't had sex yet. I said, you have to tell him more of that, girl. Nikki, you just, shh, you have to tell him more of that. And I said, oh, so you haven't had sex, but he don't love you about that. And they were going back and forth, back and forth. And Joy was like, oh, I ain't being bought him. Joy said, cool. It's good that he had a girlfriend so he can mind my business. Because if he don't have no one, he could be minding me. And it's good that he has somebody to keep his mind off of so he could get the divorce faster. He, she could help him get the divorce faster. So that, that's cool. So Joy was not bothered by it. And they were talking back and forth. And I would say, I think Trick still loves um, Joy and all that stuff like that. Because he getting tired of talking about it. And that's what Trick said. He don't love Joy. But he don't sit, she can't stand the fact that he's not being married to Joy. So that's why he hold it off that divorce. I said, come on, it's three seasons now, three years, Trick. And you still give this girl this divorce. Like, really? I like, so that was that. And Prima Donna was like, oh, I thought it was my wig, Trick. You know, I came to your house and I left my wig in your house. And I thought she just put my wig on. Everybody said, oh, oh, what's going on? She said, no, that's my brother. That's my brother. We cool. Because they, they show as Prima Donna Trick's friend. And I said, oh, cool. And I said, it's been hot in tricks. So he be making that food and it be hot in there. And I had to take my wig off. And I thought she had my wig. Because <laughs> they, they had similar um, color blonde wigs. And that was that. So that was that. So back to my event. And I was say, all right. So, you know, Bob, Bobby was on one. Like, he was spending all the business about Shane to JoJo and all that stuff like that. And he was good in between between Nikki and Joy. And then now at the party... Um, he told Shay that her mom invited Joe to the event, and now Shay is on one. She said, "Ah, oh, what? She didn't tell me. So why she didn't tell me? So how you gonna invite my ex enemy, enemy to this? Is like you know I don't rock with her. Now she put him in a position to turn up in a party because I don't rock with her. You know, and stuff like that. And what kind of loyalty is this? And they say, they say I'm tired of these stop being loyal to the girls who don't loyal to me." Because I always be riding her. I was like, you know what, girl? Really? So MJ was like, well, get out. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. So mom was like, what the what? Yeah, I didn't tell you and everything or something like that because I know how you're going to react. But she said, you know how it is. You know how she did to me. You're going to write her something. You're going to put me in a position. You're going to make it. I was like, calm down. It's her event. It's not your event, Shay. Understand it was your event, Shay. And then she invited JoJo there. Know how you feel. But it's a mom event. So mom can invite whoever she wanted. Now, if you don't really like the girl, you don't have to talk to the girl. But you felt so all bothered by JoJo. And I said, you, can't never, you should never make somebody make you that feel bothered that you will leave your sister's event because you don't want to be in the presence of Shay. You know, JoJo. So JoJo came, Shay left, she said, uh-uh, I got to get out of here. A marvel said, I want to slap a marvel, and I want to double slap JoJo. I said, really, girl? So how much best friends or how much sister loyalty you have with a marvel you want to slap her because she invited JoJo? It's not about your boo-boo. Sit your behind down. And I, like, I was going to say something, but that's it. Shay, you left. A marvel performed a song. That was good. I, I hope. We'll wish your mama, uh, mama best. Now, the Joe, um, Julian, so mama said, what Julian? And Trina was there. Trina wanted to just get out. She wanted to um, get some, she would have cleared her mind and have some fun and support mama or something like that. But she don't want to see Julian. Don't put her in her presence. So when they would say Julian, she said, oh, it's a lot. So everybody was like, oh, what else? Julian, Julian. So Joe said, Joy said, F Julian, F Julian. I don't care about Julian. He better not show up. He tried to mess my eyes. I said, so mom, I said, what the hell's going on? So that's what they told me. They said, uh-uh, it's not a woman you. It's not a woman you. I let you know. Judy had had some money for $300,000 for Trina. And it was a lot of money. She stole away from money. And she was sick with her mom and all that like that. And all that stuff. He's gone away. So it's a bad blood. It's nothing but you. You better do it. You better possibly with grace or do your soul. I said, Bobby, calm down, Bobby. <laughs> and she was like, oh, wow. She performed everything. And um that was that. That was Love and Hip Hop Miami, y'all. The first episode of season three. Stay tuned because I will continue doing weekly reviews. I'm doing New York and I'm doing Miami and I have other videos coming out this week as well. That's so stay tuned to y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Tell me how y'all feel about this episode and I'll talk to y'all later, all right? Peace.